Could you identify this symbol, please? Tell me what it is and what it tells you to do. Here are two symbols you might see underneath an arm or a leg gesture. What's the difference between them? If you see this symbol underneath a step, how does it affect the step you take? Number four, what does it mean when you see no level in a turn sign? Number five, can you tell me what these two turns say? Which way to turn and how much? Number six, what's the difference between those two? Number seven, <clears throat> after every turn, at the completion of every turn in a dance score, off to the left you see something. What do you see? And number eight is, could you show me what that sign would look like for this example? Number nine, if you saw this symbol outside the starting position, what would it tell you? Number 10, what's meant by split column? What does that mean, split column? Could you tell me what that is? And what's that? And what's that? Number 14, I want to know what country I'm in. And what's this? Now, 16, I want you to infer from what you've already learned. What's happening here? Number 17, whose choreography or class work that we've read has shown an emphasis on shape? This question is in four parts. Has used mixed meters. Has used changing accents. And has emphasized spatial clarity. It's probably more than one answer to some of these. What is this foot hook? Okay, clearly that's all I have room for. <laughs> so let's, let's go back here. All right, could you speak up clearly so I can hear you? Um, what is this? A space hold, and what does it do? Jackie. It holds a particular part of the body, and the part, the part maintains its relationship to space. So Very good, that was nicely stated. So one part of the body is maintaining its relationship to space while the rest of the body is turning away. Good. What's the difference between these two? Daniel? The degree of the bend, the first one is slightly bent, and the second one is the 90 degree bend. Terrific. Kathy, if you see this before a step, how does it affect it what you do? <laughs> Hopefully it does. Yesterday we had some problem executing that, but that's what it should do, is lengthen your step. What's number four? When there's no level in a turn sign, Marcel, what do you do? Turn on the level of the previous step. Right, turn on the level of your previous step or your preparation. Good. Uh, Sarah, turning which way? Two and three quarters to the right. Good, and here? <coughs> One and an eighth to the left. Good. Does that suit everyone? Right. Number six, what's the difference between these two? Rivka. Very good. Turning on the ground here and turning in the air here, what are these called? Uh, Airlines, yeah. right? And they're the dead giveaway that that turn is in the air. Jackie, what's after each turn, what do you find to the left of the score? A fun sign or a facing pin. And what would the pin be in this particular combination? Jackie, keep going. What would it look like? Mm -hmm. You're absolutely correct. So it would look like this. All right. Daniel, you see this in the starting position. What's it tell you to do? Begin somewhere in the upstage left corner. <laughs> okay. So you begin the dance by standing or whatever your position is in the upstage left corner. Fine. What does split column mean, Kathy? Um, two different direction symbols that together describe a leg gesture. Well said. You have two symbols, and together they're describing a leg gesture. The first one that you meet going out for the staff is describing where the thigh is and the second one, the lower, leg. the lower leg. So you keep going. What's this position? Butterfly, retire. Good. Butterfly standing for retire. Terrific. All right. 
Marcella, what do we got here? Uh, what's that? Number yeah. Uh, this is an awesome blue with locomotion. <laughs> Absolutely, it was perfectly said. See, sometimes locomotion, we have images of trains steaming okay, through the countryside. No, it's perfectly well said. Very good. So it's an assemblé, but not just a simple assemblé. It is traveling forward with its landing. Good. What's this one? Where are we? Sarah. Um, that is a seesaw. And it travels which way? To the side. Good. Rivka. Country, perhaps. I mean, <laughs> Russia. Probably Russia. Why? What is this person doing? <laughs> right. Jumping up Jumping in the air, and both legs are split to the side in the air, and How both arms. A jump? Hmm? How do call it jump? A jump. Yes, yeah, split yeah, jump. jump. Huh? So, probable country of origin, Russia. All right. What is this? Jackie. Let's repeat as many times as you want. Right. Repeat as many times as you want. Daniel, what's this? The squiggle stand Ad for ad lib. Sixteen, Daniel. You have any thoughts on this? Can you say that it's a long leap? Yes, good. It's a longer leap than usual. So as you land, your landing is further away. It's it's a longer. It lengthens the the landing. So it won't lengthen it in time. If you wanted it to be a slower, God forbid, a slow <laughs> landing, the symbol would be. Longer, right? The direction symbol would be longer. But if you just want to lengthen the distance that you travel so that you know that this person is leaping broadly rather than trying to pop up in the air straight up, right? This is what you'll see before the landing to stress length of leap. Whose choreography or class work have we read that has emphasized shape? Where are we? Kathy. Lamone, Lamone where, where? Lamone. Yes. Okay. The Limon, which one? Um, it's emphasized space. He's um, accented walking inside. Good. Uh, where you travel forward and then it turns into, into a, a zigging, zagging path and you have to be careful of, of your directions of travel. Good. Anybody else who's emphasized shape? Yeah, clearly Vigman in... Yeah, we've only done that one reading. Good, good. And, and also the circle on the floor. Right. We're going to go on with her today and see even more circles. Yeah? Don Radnick also the arms. That was with Courier. That was still, that was with Courier too, right. All right, who's uh, mixed meters? Courier. Courier. Who's changed accents? Limone. Who ha whose combinations have shown an emphasis on spatial clarity, and being very clear about your directions? Yes, that Lamon quarter turn combination, very clear about the orientation of the dancer. Any others? And too. Yes, courier too, and and the um, the the pattern of the legs in the air. Okay, um, what are these foot hooks? Whole foot. Good. All right, let me put up one more while we're sitting here. What do you think the difference is between this and this? This is the linking bow that I mentioned yesterday that you haven't seen yet. It's often called a simultaneous action bow or a linking bow. It's tying two movements together and making them happen as one. So here you're stepping and turning one, two, it's a blended movement. Whereas here, they are separated. One, two. What's the difference between this and this? The brush. Good, the brush. This steps forward, and there's a batma in the air. This steps forward. Australian word, swishes, steps forward and swishes up. So here you have a definite brush as the leg lifts off the floor, and here a straight batma. I'd like to complete the series of stage signs that we started, the corners and the sides of the room. I want to show you what the whole set of those looks like. Here's your down left corner. 
your stage sign for downstage. And down right corner. Stage right. Up right corner. That's where all the people go who drink Harvey's Bristol cream. Upstage. Up left. Stage left and center stage looks like this. Stage area signs. See if you can divine the difference between these two directions. When you're reading a score, you need to notice where these stage area signs are located. If you see one in the starting position, stage. you start on stage. A curtain co opens or lights come up, the dancer is visible on stage. So in the starting position, the dancer is already in that place. What does this say? What's this double bar line mean again? Separate the initial That's where the movement starts. OK, so when movement starts, yes, you appear the dancer is visible in this stage corner, right? Not in the starting position. Oh, I see. Only when movement begins does, does the dancer appear in this upstage corner, right? Sometimes you will see this in the starting position to make sure that you're reading this correctly. What do you suppose that means? It means you're in this part of the stage, but <laughs> right, a long way. So you're in that wing. Sometimes you'll see that, but frequently you do not. Frequently, all you get for information is that when movement begins, the dancer arrives at that point on the stage. We're going to look at a couple of readings today that use floor plans. Let me show you what I mean by that. A floor plan or a stage plan is a map of the path that the dancer or dancers are taking on the stage. You'll find a series of graphics like this, usually off to the right of the page or at the bottom placed where they can be seen easily, apart from the rest of the information. And the top of the rectangle will be open. That represents the audience. Because you don't have a fourth wall, they wouldn't be able to see you. Right. So here's the audience here. This is the downstage area where you're open to the audience. And that's the rest of the stage. The same facing pin that we saw used after turn signs is placed on the stage to show you where the dancer is standing. These are used somewhat less frequently, but you need to know them. This pin can also stand for a woman. A solid pin can stand for a man. And the very imaginative pin of half and half, like this, despite imaginative uh, interpretations of what that could mean, just stands for a person. And this tells you where the dancer is, is facing uh, for this particular movement. And there will be a path or a line drawn out from that dancer, which shows how they travel. And at the end, there's an arrow that shows that's how far they get on these particular movements. That arrow does not tell you where the dancer is facing at the end of the path. It has nothing to do with that. Just tells you how far they get.